All right, here's how you uh, change the uh, fuel sending uh, unit on uh, one of these Gator scooters. This is a 50cc. Take first, you take the seat off. Okay, you lift it up, set it out of the way. Here's the fuel sending unit. You simply twist like that to remove the nut, pull it out. No tools required. There you go. Boom. That's it right there. Now, I think this one was just stuck. I, uh, um, so you see, when it's all the way down, fuel gauge is reading zero. When I move it up like this and bend it up, see it's still reading zero so it seems like there's a bad sensor in there but if I put, touch this wire a little bit there you go it's back up so that tells me that there's a there's, there's corrosion in here uh, so these units are twelve dollars on Amazon. It's just it just will unplug right over here, or uh, I can uh, try cleaning this off real quick. Let me clean this off and see if that solves our problem. So to clean it off, just pull this out. You see, you have these little pins here. I'll just try pulling those pins out a little bit because it's got to make contact with these. So let's see what happens. Okay, cleaned it off. Seems to be working more consistently. Uh, it's staying at full, or when I move it down to halfway, it's, it's st it'll stay there. I move it down to empty, it'll stay there. So I'm going to put this back in. We'll see if that uh, keeps working. Okay, uh, it's working, but the thing, I think the problem is, is there's supposed to be something that holds this in because it keeps sliding out. So let me see if I can find some, uh, a clip or something to hold this in. That way... This won't slide out and get disconnected. And like I said, uh, you know, this thing's only 12 bucks on Amazon. Uh, but I'll see if I can find a clip. And, uh, and then once you're done, once I get a clip on there, that just goes in there like that. And then this simply turns like this. And that locks it in. Then you just slap the seat back on, and it's done.